Did you ever get caught breaking any rules? Actually, yes. <laughs> I actually have a really good story for this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new on here, blah, blah, blah. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new on here, my name is Jenny Yunzan and a new video drops every Tuesday. So I hope you stick around for that. This is a continuation of the last video. Last video was, you know, why and how I joined the US Army. It was a little intro. Ani, this video is a whole Q&A of all the questions you guys ask me on the daily about the army. So I asked you guys TikTok or Instagram to ask me questions. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Look, all these questions. Let's jump right into it, okay? We're not wasting any time today. I'm gonna try to keep it like brief. I talk a lot, okay? First question. How can I join the US Army? Slash, if I'm an international student, can I join? Slash, if I'm in Nepal, can I join? Basically, in order to join the US Army, you do need to have PR, um, permanent resident, like green card or um, have a US citizenship, right? That's literally, I think, the only two ways you can join Aile. You cannot join from Nepal, see they, um, they don't have any programs, anything like that anymore. Ani Pati, as an international student, you do need to have your green card. So you need to have your uh, high school diploma, so 12th grade pass, green card, or citizenship on the board, so join the garden. Also, there are branches of the US Army. So there's full-time army, National Guard, and the Army Reserve. Uh, full-time army, obviously, you know, basic training, but you get stationed somewhere, and you get a, you, you know, do it like a job, like Monday to Friday, just though. Um, but National Guard and Army Reserve, it's like a part-time army, just though, uh, which you literally, so basic training, and you put basic training, but um, instead of getting stationed somewhere, you come back home, and you put you serve monthly only two weeks in the summer so you have training one weekend per month only two weeks in the summer and while you're not training you can you know live your normal life you can go do your normal civilian job or you can go to college full-time or anything like that were you active or national guard i was national guard because in the previous video like i said i joined when i was 17 and right out of high school high school basic training um, I came back home. I took a little gap year on Ipoti. I went to college full-time while still being in the National Guard And it was perfect for me because I got to go to college and do the army at the same time So what is the height and age requirement and does body weight matter the height requirement for men? Five feet uh, to six eight on Ipoti for women. It's four ten to six eight and does body weight matter? No, body weight doesn't matter uh, because obviously like basic training, um, you do PT every day and you know, like you're gonna be in a good shape. That uh, when you do the, the PT test, um, like there's a US Army good chart. I'll put it somewhere in the screen. Um, there's a US Army good chart and you have to be like a certain weight um, for a certain height. If not, you get flagged uh, for your weight. But that doesn't really like, stop you from anything and the chart in my opinion is so unrealistic so yeah so it doesn't matter basically age requirement uh you have to be 17 to 35 to join um 17 by wednesday you just need your parents signature like they need to sign the paper for you uh because 17 is not a legal age but you can still join 17 ma and then if you're 18 and up you can do it on your own but 17 to 35 is the age requirement how much is the annual salary so i'm not gonna go in depth about this because you can easily go on google a eh, and you put you just type and you get it it's usually based on rank salary is based on rank and time in service time in service meaning like got or like got the rank hold very cool if you if you were just like newly promoted to a rank you might get a little less pay than someone who's had that rank for you know a long time um, so annual salary that's something you know it depends so next PT test like what's in the PT test and everything for the PT test the time for running is based on age the amount of push-up um, is based on age and the amount of sit-ups is based on age as well uh, but we had our previous our old PT test consisted of running sit-ups and push-up that uh, the army um, 
recently, recently meaning like a year ago, implemented our new PT test, which has a lot more than the old PT test. Like the, it has uh, get it like deadlifts, you know, leg tucks and all that. Um, tips to increase running. So I'm not much of a runner myself. Basic training, my like you know, since you do PT test every day, you'll get better. And even if you fail like your first uh, PT test or something, you will eventually pass it. Like they'll make sure you pass your PT test. So don't worry about that. Um, you know, if you need extra training, they'll give it to you and they'll provide that for you. But uh, tips to increase running personally is honestly just to run more. And if you're just trying to decrease your time in general, just do sprints is what has helped me, but everyone's different. Tips to increase running is just to run and just keep running and you'll eventually get better. Did you like the old PT test or the new one? I personally don't like PT tests, um, but I like the old one just because it was easier but the new one is more fun to me what is your mos and where were you stationed so mos meaning job basically like what did i do in the military so my mos was 88 mike um which is basically like a truck driver but they like word it as like a uh, motor vehicle like operation whatever specialist but um why i picked the job i don't even know because like i said like I joined when I was 17 and I didn't do any research about the job that uh, when it came time to pick my job I didn't know anything so yeah I just picked that back then like my mind I was like okay I want to do something in the army that I would never do in real life so I can get that experience so I can see and do something different and do you know like I can say I tried everything but it so we did like maintenance on vehicles we drove um, did missions uh, you know inspections and everything but we still trained um, other stuff too. So, and where was I stationed? So for basic training, I was stationed in Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. It was hell because it was the middle of the summer on the Fort Leonard Wood, ma. I'm a training guard that had like field, ma. Oh my God, we saw snakes, scorpions, 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 yeah. So we saw like snakes, deer, scorpions. I probably ate like freaking 10,000 spider webs while training like it was ridiculous getting got the okay they bugs are insects are runes like that and especially middle of summer in the forest so yeah i was stationed in fort leonard missouri for basic training and for ait as well ait is your job training so after you do 10 week of basic training you get shipped off um to another company or another station uh, to do your, you know, do like specific job training. So we feel good basic training every day. So yes, so the first 10 weeks is what's called the basic training. Um, everyone goes through the same basic training no matter what your job is, no matter if you're full-time active or National Guard or Army Reserve, whatever your, you know, job or uh, what, whatever branch of the army you're in, um, everyone goes through the same 10 weeks of basic training. Anybody, like I said, after basic training, people get shipped off to different places and different companies based on what job you have. What did you think about basic training? Hmm, I was 17 and I was really nervous for basic training, Ani. But, you know, like, after you complete something, you can make jokes out of it and everything, and you can see, you know, whatever. But when you were actually going through it, like, it's not funny. <laughs> so basic training was challenging. It wasn't horrible, but it was challenging. And it's challenging mentally and physically because you're doing all the things you may not have done in your everyday life. So it was challenging physically and mentally. Too. Obviously, you're away from your family, and especially people you know who have never been away from their family for that long. It does get hard, and you do miss your family because you don't have your phones. All you have is letters that you write and letters that you receive from your family. So it is mentally and physically challenging, but it's worth it. It's worth it, and you put see yeah and like you'll make friends there you know in basic training that'll help you can you everyone's just going through the same thing how hard did you think basic training was for girls um i can't speak for everyone but me personally like i said it was it, it does get kind of mentally challenging um because you miss your family and everything and you see some may even question you know their decision of joining the army but i didn't think it was that hard like Physically, obviously, you get better, and but see, just seeing your progress throughout basic training just motivates you more. So it was definitely um, something I enjoyed, honestly, which is surprising. Um, how old were you when you joined? So if you saw my previous video, I was 17, fresh, not even out of high school. Like I was still in high school when I joined. 
um, and I shipped off to basic training after I graduated high school. But yeah, I was 17 years old when I joined. Why didn't you join the Nepali army instead? Oh, because I was brought to the US at a really young age without having a say. <laughs> No, like I grew up like I mostly grew up in the US and they bought it. I'm in Nepal May Urke go by because I came here when I was uh, nine years old me that I'm in Nepal Urke go by I don't think I would have joined the Nepali army. What's the difference between military and the civilian life? There's a lot of difference uh, because so especially when you do National Guard I know like you're living your everyday life you're going to college whatever you're going to work whatever but when it comes time to training I feel like like you needed to like switch this button on like change mode in your brain every time you go to training because it's different you know like it is I don't know how to like explain it if you haven't gone through it that uh, I'll try my best but like going from like everyday civilian life into the military life there are a lot of things you need to be aware of kiniki rules are runsa you know like rules and regulations like restrictions and um everything like you just do everything different in the military like you have to remember you know um like little things like if you see someone higher rank like a certain position you to stand in when you talk to them or if you see like um someone high or higher rank like if you see officers and you're outside you need to salute them every time so like there are a lot of things to keep in mind in the military lifestyle can you do civilian lifestyle like you can just you know go about your day and not even think anything of anything there's a uh, military lifestyle you really have to be you know aware of your surroundings uh you know be on top of your shit basically and yeah i can go more in depth later but that's yeah basically like a little rundown recruit by but he study continue going to milta an engineer and doctor pardon upon to keep on they now so basically whatever job we have or most jobs we have in the civilian life we have in the military as well so you can be a military nurse military engineer um not a military doctor though so like i said um if you do full-time army you know you can do that in the military but uh if you're talking about like outside like civilian life my you know engineer or doctor partner won't won't if you do national guard kiniki basic training but you you come back to your home station and you train once a month only so you basically have all the time to go to college you know like i said go to college study whatever you want to it doesn't have to relate to your military lifestyle next question can i be your army anyways next question did you ever get caught breaking any rules and did you get away with something that you weren't supposed to actually yes <laughs> i actually have a really good story for this like i said i joined when i was 17 and now you see when i went to basic training um so i've done it down to me like i'm a group ma like i'm a company group ma we were basically all you know similar ages fresh out of high school you know 17 18 19 years old we would like training mom the heady because when you're you know in training uh, with the same group of people for so long you just lose your vision i guess you know and you find everyone cute because <laughs> because you're literally just with the same group of people for so long ani so we surpassed notes like i mean kiri kiri kita beats i know like training arma obviously it was like not okay it's fraternization but we used to pass notes and then like like little notes and you put everyone used to have their like crushes and everything and you put see um they held a company meeting one day saying you know like we've been informed that get a couple soldier obviously that's not okay and you put see if we find something you know we're gonna take actions like we're like oh my god what like training see that we had our personal time before we went to sleep right now like to shower and everything and yeah i'm so shower got it but see like get out of bed third floor ma'am or basically second floor ma'am and you could see there was like stairs that uh, the door in between was locked you know and he, they always told us that if you open the door the alarm is gonna go off <laughs> so they always told us that you know like if you open the door that's between the female bay and the male bay the alarm is gonna go off so we never really opened the door but after our personal time we used to like sit you know in either side of the door and just slip notes under the door to each other you know like oh like you know crushes and whatever and after they said that we literally just like ripped our notes up and like flushed it down the toilet and got rid of it and so yeah i guess that's like us getting away with something we weren't supposed to but eventually one day we had a snitch like jun group mapani you have a snitch on the guy could out um she went to our drill sergeant when she oh 
que de, I know you guys said not to do that, but uh, there are still, you know, people doing that. Vanera, <laughs> Anipati, Anipati. Um, because we were still doing the like training with BBC or whatever, and I didn't get caught that a middle battle buddy, my sati that I always used to do everything with. She got caught, Kiniki. Uh, I guess Ulitsu was going crush that note, had it in like back and forth note, uh, had it said training ma. It was in a shooting range, and he training ma, like, get away, get away. They forgot to throw the note out and I guess it like was on the floor and you see I'm a drill sergeant side and when we came back to our um, building um, she called her up and you see every time in basic training every time you go somewhere you have to have a battle buddy with you so I went up with her and you see we were there like oh fuck like yeah wow and she was like oh get it oh you did and I know like they're not saying yeah okay can we say I'm the one go to like don't do this one era blah 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 because she didn't really get punished but she was like you know like we're not done with this like I will you know do something about this and then after that we got really nervous and in modern mayor sati we went up to our other drill sergeant and was like listen like we know like you guys said not to do that that uh we were still continuing to do that so we basically just told them the truth and he get it because we were scared that like you know they were going to check us and you you know whatever have the whole company in trouble because of us and it wasn't only us two doing it there was like all the girls doing it and all the guys she just got caught and yeah i was her battle buddy and then Mr. Drill Sergeant was like, you know, get it. I'm the checking guard set. Or before our next checking, the one got jizz it. The notes, those little like letters that you guys write to each other. Chat did a flush guard day, so no one finds out. I was like, damn, like I'm the drill sergeant. I'm the tips day. I go. So we went up there and we ripped all the notes, final notes, and we flushed it down the toilet. And yeah, so <laughs> ah, it sounds so silly now. This was like six, what, six, seven years ago? But like, it sounds so silly now. But like, we were so young when Tony and Busy, everyone around us were our age, and he was like, oh, like crushes and cute, whatever. Like, no, bro, we're here to train and be able to serve the country. <laughs> but we were like, you know, we were 17. That's what I'm going to use as my excuse. But yeah, that was, that was something. Um, have you ever killed someone? With my looks, yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, no, guys, I haven't killed anyone. Funny moment from boot camp. I have so many stories from boot camp, like basic training. So I used to have a notebook that I wrote everything down in. I used to write um, poems, songs, on the family, like letter, or something like that. You know, like I used to journal in that notebook. I did everything. And but you wrote your notebook, go like first pan. I'm at the middle family picture. So yeah, picture of me and my family. Too. So I always used to carry that notebook everywhere with me. And one day after training, we went back to our building. I mean, I went to pee. I know. And I had it in like my back. It all got out. Had like in my back. Like man, and it was I pee. T M I. But I peed and I flushed. I know. That's important. Okay. And you but see when I got up. From the uh, from the toilet, the notebook literally fell into the toilet. And I was like, oh my god! When my first reflex, I just picked it up from the toilet. <laughs> I know it's nasty, but like I said, it was clean water. I had already flushed. Okay, and you see, I cleaned it off, and he, I opened it, and the picture was still there. Nothing got ruined. The pages just were like a little wet, but I didn't want to let it go because I had everything in there. And you see, I just set it to dry for a couple of days, and he reused it. <laughs> I reused it. Okay. Duh. Um, but I have so many stories like I might just do a freaking separate videos on just my basic training with stories like there's so many funny stories there's so many you know like not funny stories and like the shit when they put us through but you know were you planning to do it just for six years and what made you end your contract so with that question yes I did end my contract um, I signed a six year contract and you see I just finished it um, January ma. Ani, um, yeah, I'm no longer in the army. If I want to join again or get a serve again, malio what you decide got it up, got to to get. But for now, I'm not. How do I say it? So it's not something I see myself doing anymore. Unsani, obviously it's beneficial, eh? Ani, but um, malio join got the hari benefits ko lagi. Because I didn't even know the full benefits when I joined and neither did I join for citizenship because I was already a citizen. Initially, I wasn't only planning to do it for six years. I didn't know what I was planning to do. Um, you know, it was just like, let's see how it goes kind of thing. And there were times when I was like, I'm going to do all 20 years. Can you get 20 years? 
um and then there were times when i'm like no i really want to go active i don't want to do national guard anymore but at the end you grow up you grow up things change your mind change your priorities change and this is just the state of the life i'm in serving was you know being in the army was amazing i learned a lot i met a lot of great people you know learned a lot from those people and he, i will always have this knowledge that i can apply it for the rest of my life and he, you know i have this um thing that i did when i was 17 that benefits me for the rest of my life um so with that being said i'm no longer serving um it was great while it lasted but i think it's time for bigger and better things for genuines and so yeah yeah so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching and i hope this helped um you know answer some of your questions that you guys ask me if you guys have more feel free to drop it down in the comment um don't forget to like share and subscribe um it may be useful to you know if not to you then anyone else looking to join the army so i hope you guys enjoyed my video um thank you guys so much for watching and you thank you guys always for supporting uh, Bye! I'll see you guys next time!